What's up guys? So today I'm gonna start prepping the boat because we might leave um, Wednesday, today's Sunday and so what I did is took out our extra freezer, put everything in one freezer so I disconnected that one, I'm gonna clean it, leave it dry, gonna clean out the bathroom and yeah keep cleaning because we want to leave the boat nice and spotless so when we come back everything's clean, organized and nice We are single parents. How does it, is it? We're not even parents. Hakuna Matata. It means no worries. So today's mission is we're going, or well, I'm going to the hardware store to buy the kennel for the dogs. And that's it. We're gonna take out the dogs for a walk first. Then I'm just gonna drop me off. And then yeah, I'm gonna go get the kennel and start training the dogs. It's gonna be one intense training week for the dogs before we ship them off. We're here at the hardware store. I just purchased the two kennels. They're huge. So I asked them to see if they can deliver the kennels and they can deliver the kennels to the marina. So that's perfect. These are the two kennels. They are really, really expensive. 700 EC, like $280 per kennel. So yeah, we're gonna deliver them today and we're good. We're getting some local juice. And any banana for it? Uh, no, just the okay. juice, thank you. Okay, thank you. Get some juice. So I'm just here, just got back from the hardware store. I did a quick stop at the grocery store. Got some bread some little snacks and I'm just waiting for Andrea to pick me up I don't know if I said this before but the kennels are gonna get delivered by the hardware store they didn't charge any any money to do the delivery and it's good because I mean those kennels are big they might get them delivered today or tomorrow today is Wednesday tomorrow is Thursday Friday the vet's coming to do the health certificate on the dogs so they can travel and yeah we might ship them off on Wednesday next week so we got the crates so for we this were, two yeah, giant we dogs we were giving the dogs away so now we're going to start an intense crate training this guy has never been on a crate before he doesn't care about it because he doesn't know it's for him. <laughs> right? And the one time that she was in a crate, she opened all of her mouth, trying to open it and ripped all of her gums, trying to open the thing. So we don't know where we're gonna put them because they're huge. Huge. So we need to train them. Train them first because they've never been in a crate before. No, this bit? Jesus. I think they're gonna be comfortable. So we wouldn't use anything we we can't use. So today Andrea is gonna slip what? in the crate. <laughs> I think they're gonna fit just fine. I think they'll be fitting. If I fit, I think they fit. <laughs> I feel like it sucks to be a dog, man. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> <laughs> like you're just here unlocked and like trying to figure out how Echo can get out, but. Because she's like a skate artist. We'll put zip ties through here and everything. Yeah, we have to put zip ties in all corners and everything. Okay, so we just put the crate inside. You can see a size, it's huge. And Ozzy loves the bed. So once he saw the bed, it's like, oh yeah, I'm going. I'm going in. Yes, so we are finally ready to travel. Ha! <laughs> and we are ready to leave, go back home, take a break, recharge, re renew. <laughs> what are we doing today? So today we are going to rent a car in the airport. Uh -huh. Then we're going to come back, we're going to pick up big ass crates. Big crates. Big crates. And then we're going to go drop them off at the cargo. And then we're going to come back, 
for the dogs and take the dogs because they have to wait the crate with the dog inside and the dogs have the flight tomorrow. The dogs were supposed to leave today and we were gonna take like take the next flight to Miami. Yeah. But we couldn't because they canceled the flight of the dog so we had to postpone ours and ours the next flight doesn't leave until Saturday. So really, like traveling with dogs is such a big... Like, it's, a, it's a little bit more complicated. A lot more complicated. Like we would have just left the boat a long time ago somewhere in another island, just taking a flight just for us to, you know, we could just leave the dog anywhere in a marina and just take a flight back to Miami. But because of the dogs, it makes it so much harder. And that, that's one of the reasons why it's so hard for us to like see our friends, see our family. If they don't come to visit us, it's pretty much, you know, it's impossible for us to go. Plus, not to mention the cost. Like for us to fly the dogs to Miami, it's costing us over a thousand dollars. So obviously we're doing it now because we're gonna we plan on staying in Florida for like a couple of months and, and like spending Christmas and all that good stuff with our families. But you know, it's not really something worth doing if we were just gonna fly for a week. Like that makes it hard, almost impossible. I was very, very excited to leave today. And then yesterday, at last minute, they, well, I called just to make sure that the dogs were flying in the morning because we were flying in the afternoon. And then the guy was like, no, they changed the flight to Thursday. So we had to change our flight to Saturday, which is no bueno, no bueno. I was already excited. We barely have any food in the boat. Since you guys know our generator is having issues. So, I mean, I don't like to drain the batteries more than 20%. So... We barely make water, we can turn on the AC and we're just, I, mean, I don't know, I mean, we like sleeping with the AC on during the summer months, it gets pretty hot. And when it rains at night, like the AC is a must. So yeah, we have been living without air conditioner for the past week. So that's why I wanted to leave so bad. I found a guy in California that can fix the thing for the generator and yeah we'll see what happens rented the car I guess who's the chosen driver of the day the driver of the day is Andrea why am I the driver because Alejo because my driver license expired so I can't drive so one more to do when we get back to the US yes They'll be having AC in the flight without um, like the entire flight they're gonna have air conditioning um, and the reason why they're flying through cargo is because the planes that come here to the islands are very small and they don't allow large dogs like this ones which are like the largest dogs that you can have we went to the airport we got the dogs waited we paid a thousand four hundred for the dogs and now we came and we ordered some pizza. And we're gonna eat it in the car just because we have air conditioning here. And we're gonna wait the entire afternoon in the car. <laughs> oh. When was the last time you saw your parents? I don't know. Almost a year ago. Like a year ago. Your brother, your big brother, when was the last time you like saw him? two years ago. And so you're gonna be seeing him? I'm gonna see my big brother. Are you excited? I'm very excited. <gasps> my sister, I also haven't seen her in a long time. So she's getting married, so it's exciting to go back and to spend a We're lot of time with family. <laughs> and 
we're gonna take you guys to Colombia with us. So this is very exciting. Yes, very we're happy exciting. to go back. We haven't been to Colombia in two and a half years, which is super exciting because that's where we were born. That's our home country. That's our roots, our culture, and we can't wait to show you guys all about it. So make sure you subscribe and you hit the notification bell so you can be notified when we upload a new video. I think this is good. This is only positive because this is a well uh, needed break that we need. You know, we, we had not taken a break in two years that we have been living on the boat. So it's important to be able to like get off. It doesn't matter that we live a life that looks like and is like a vacation. You need a vacation from whatever lifestyle that you need. From your vacation. You need a vacation from your vacation, exactly. Well said, my friend, well said. And that's what we're doing. So we're gonna travel, we're gonna be with family, we're gonna be partying with our friends, we're gonna go dancing. I'm so excited to dance again. <laughs> Guys, so we are here eating some pizza. I'm almost done. And you can see the dogs. <laughs> What's up people? So we are walking the dogs, 6 a.m. Yeah, we're walking the dogs and we are about are to go to the airport <laughs> to drop them off. Their flight um, arrives at 9 a.m. and they're gonna be, the flight's gonna be here for an hour until they load everything and then they'll leave. It's the first time that they're going somewhere by themselves without us, so it's very nerve-wracking for our kids. I feel like they're all grown up. Okay, so after waiting here at the um, cargo area for two hours, the dogs are finally leaving, so we are packing them up. We're gonna put them in the crates, and they're ready to go. Huh? Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. There we go. That keeps them that's gonna keep them busy for the next couple of hours. Feel. Yes, it feels good. <laughs> Woo, let's board. We are single parents. How does it, it? We're not even parents. We're no longer parents. Responsible for other lives. No, it's just us. So we can enjoy. We don't have to walk them in the morning. We don't have to feed them. <laughs> mm -hmm. But we're gonna miss them. We'll see them in two days. Well, at least that's what we hope. Maybe in six. I'm gonna see him in two days. Andrea is gonna go to Miami <laughs> next Wednesday. Uh, we'll see you guys later. Hey, 